Welcome friends and collectors, thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the 1 to 50 scale Diecast Masters Vintage Series Caterpillar 966A Wheel Loader. The item number is 85579 and it comes in this brown outer shipping box. To begin the unboxing, cut one side of the Diecast Masters tapes, open it up, then we are greeted with a white cover, a slip-on cover, which reads CAT 966A Wheel Loader, your item number. Here's the Vintage Series logo. This is a new series for Diecast Masters, so you'll be seeing a lot of the vintage Caterpillar models that had previously come in the Evolution and Evolution series. You can now purchase them individually. All right, let's push it out. Take a look at the beautiful artwork on the side of the box. It kind of has that faded and weathered vintage look to it, which I really like. It's a nice little touch. Item number, once again, your description, your model. On the back, you have some information from the Antique Caterpillar Machinery Owners Club, and I will read it to you. The Caterpillar 966A wheel loader, featuring a turbocharged diesel engine, power shift transmission, one finger shifting controls, and two to three quarter cubic yard bucket capacity, the 966A differed from other wheel loaders on the market in the early 1960s. Caterpillar's design put the lift arms in hydraulic cylinders ahead of the operator's compartment, allowing the operator to mount and dismount the cab more easily, keeping moving parts away from the operator and providing enhanced forward reach. So we have a picture of the loader over here loading a dump truck. And as I alluded to just moments ago, you have the cat logo for the Antique Caterpillar Machinery Owners Club. All right, let's pop this model open to do so. You open it up shoebox style. We have our model. So let's take the first piece of protection off of it. We are greeted with an optional Caterpillar Power Umbrella, which you can place on the model if you desire to do so. The model is mounted on a reflective base with a nice placard here, which reads CAT 966A Wheel Loader, built between the years 1960 and 1963. If you wish to remove the model from the base, you can do so very easily by undoing those two Phillips screws. We're not quite done with the unboxing yet because in the back of the box, you have this display placard, which again, you can use to display behind your model. Here is the supplied placard. As you can see, it has the same photo that we saw on the box with the loader loading the dump truck. And on the back of it, we have the details about the real machine in the right-hand column. And we have the same paragraph that can be found on the box as well with information about the real cat loader. That's the unboxing process and an overview of the optional accessories included with the model. When we come back, we'll have the model off the base and we'll be able to take a closer look at it. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking with me. Let's go over some of the details and decals on the model. Now you can see the large rubber tires have hub detailing, which look great. Caterpillar written out, Traxcavator written out right here in black. Cat number 99, number 966, rather, on the loader arms. We have a vintage operator figure with clothing from the air, which I really like, as well as a ball cap in place of a hard cap. Construction hat that you'd find today. Hard hat. On the back, you can see Caterpillar written out. Holes that are through, that are vis uh, visually drilled through, you can see those, along with red reflected painted rear lights. On this side, once again, you have the same decals as on the left side. I have attached the optional umbrella, the Caterpillar Power Umbrella, so our operator can stop complaining about getting sunburned in the display case. Moving towards the front, you have this large bucket with a series of nine teeth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a large reception here for the material. You also have Traxcavator written out here in black, which is a little bit hard to see. And it also, below that, written in very small but legible in-person writing, made by the Caterpillar Tractor Company in Peoria, Illinois, USA. All right, that's the details and decals. Let's look at the functionality. The first bit of functionality on this loader is that the rear axle is how this machine would steer around corners. This is before the time of articulation in wheel loaders. So it's nice to see that a range of motion has been modeled in. 
both to the left, to the right, vice versa. You can see that there. There is no oscillation. Another bit of functionality, if you want to call it that, is the ability to remove the top of the umbrella if you don't like that look. There's what the top-down view looks like with the umbrella removed. Finally, the last bit of functionality on this model is the loader arm and bucket functionality. So we'll raise the loader arms as high up as they want to go. Just be careful that you are not taking the hydraulic rams out of the cylinders, which are inside the casting and can be a little bit fiddly and hard to do. You can also dump the bucket forward, and it will dump to a very, very good angle, and all of your material should come out. Unfortunately, the model does not have much in the way of a carry angle, especially at the very, very lowest point. But that does allow you to achieve a cut angle if you want to pose your model going into a stockpile of material. All right, while we wait for Diecast Masters to add a vintage dump truck to their truck series that they produce, their transport series, we have a cheap stand-in, a 1956 Ford from Menards, again, sticking with the era here from the late 50s through the 60s. And you can see that it is plenty high enough to raise over the side, as well as to dump into the side of the dump truck seen here. That will do it for this episode of Diecast Emporium, where we take a look at the new Diecast Masters Vintage Series Caterpillar 966A wheel loader. For a model of a very early cat wheel loader, also called a Traxcavator, the model is solidly executed. It does have some modern enhancements and updates, such as improved paint, improved decaling, our operator figure with his vintage ball cap, and let's say less than ideal high visibility clothing. But again, that was accurate for the time period. It's nice that some other details have been included with the set, not only the reflective display stand and base, but also the uh, error correct and period correct Caterpillar power umbrella if you wish to put that on as well as the placard which you can put behind the model to enhance and create an interesting looking display all right thank you so much for watching this episode take a look at your screen right now for some other suggested diecast masters product reviews because if you liked this video i highly encourage you to check out those reviews as well thanks again for watching until next time take care be well i'll see you in the next review